have uh, had a rough go of it today as we move to double-a boys in the 1600 the top seed here Jacob Walker of Elwood City as defending champion uh, Chris Spooner of Lewisburg obviously graduated and here are the top eight seeds you've got Jed Christensen again can't ignore him from Greenville Sebastian Ortiz Matlack Gilling as they collapse down to the inside and uh, we'll have a mile run here with Matlack Gillen of Springfield. He was ninth year a year ago setting the pace and Winber with Tony Clement. Winber getting that surprise win in the 110 hurdles earlier today. Could this turn into a big team day for that school out of District 6? Or District 5, I say. By the way, before I forget, McMillan did crack five minutes while we have that on our mind. You know, I, the two top seeds going down in that race, and I just think it's so hard. There's only a two-hour separation between the 3200 and the 1600 here at States. It is a very hard double to pull off, and you don't see it happen very often. Dezube, probably the reason why that, that occurred, you know, it's, you spend so much in that 3200 to come back, and, and you really need some legs in the 1600 and it, they just sort of disappear. And Lane King of Fairview giving a little pressure now to Matt like Gillen. Three laps to go here in this mile run and Sebastian Ortiz of Columbia wearing the red and yellow jersey there. What are you third. Do? <laughs> and out there on the outside there's Tony Clement of Winber. And the Penns Valley runner Judson Brooker pulls out to uh, actually go four abreast there on the back stretch as they all trail our leader, Lane King of Fairview. Another strategy race. You didn't see that in the 3200 where Weiss just went out and took it from the start. This one is a strategy race. By the way, I, I don't know if you mentioned the top five finishers from last year are, were all seniors, so this is anybody's race to take. Both Walker and Christensen have gone under 419, so, you know, they would come in as the favorite, but I, I think it's tough double to do that, so we'll see what happens. Well, Walker and Christensen right now are running together, but they're in about fifth and sixth respectively. Judson Brooker giving chance right now to Lane King, who has the lead. Matt Lank Gillen is in third, and then in fourth it is Sebastian Ortiz. Halfway through it, and the halfway split was a 213 high for King and Brooker. Well, if I was if I'm Walker and Christensen, I'm saying this is a pretty good race. These guys have not gone out. They haven't forced me to expend the energy in the early part of the race, which is going to save my legs after running that 3200. So these guys have played into the role. There goes Walker now. Yep, Walker all the way to the front, taking Judson Brooker, the Penns Valley runner, with him. Judson Brooker, the number five seed, doing well to hang in there. And Lane King, not out of it. He's in that white and orange jersey on the left side of your screen. But Jacob Walker of Elwood City starting to take command of this race as we come down on one lap to go. Judson Brooker nipping at his heels there. And there goes Lane King again. And he's out in the lead with Brooker giving him a little nudge from behind. And uh, the number five and number six seed have the lead with Matt Lack Gillen in third. As Walker, who made his push, drops all the way back to seventh. And here comes Christensen hard on the outside coming down on one lap to go. Wow, that's that's quite a, a surge there for him. Let's see if he can hold on. They go through a 320. That'll bring him in about 422, 23, I think, depending on how hard they can go. And Christensen said, I'm going after this one. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it didn't take anything out of him, the 3200. State record of 403-22 by Paul Vandegrift. Now the head coach at Upper Dublin. And Christensen is taking command of this. Jed Christensen in his final high school race as senior. He's had an illustrious career, and he's pulling away now. Here's Walker making a late push on the inside. Is it too late, though, with 200 yards to go? Christensen has the lead. Brooker in second, but a really hard push now coming by Walker behind everyone. Christensen, though, in almost a flat sprint as we come down to 100 meters to go. Can he hold off a late push by Walker, who's well behind him? Jed Christensen of Greenville into the final 50 yards, and he's got it. Jed Christensen, what an explosion for him as we came to the final lap, and Christensen is the state champion in the double-A mile, a 421 flat, Brooker in second, and Walker took third. Hats off to Jed Christensen. What a gutsy performance after running the 3200. Came out here with about uh, 450 meters to go and just took off a surge to take the lead. He knew where he was going. And again, as I said, they, they left him in the race, which was good for him. They left him in the race, and he came down. He said, I'm going to run that last 400 hard. It's my last 400. I got nothing to lose. And 
and he went after it. Great race to pick up the win. That, that's a great way to finish a very good career. Here you see it. You're going to see exactly where this is coming out of the third uh, third lap. They got and he actually started at the 100 meters, about 500 out. You see almost a dead sprint to get to the top, and he never slows down. He just goes from this point on. Looks like he's jerking a little bit, like he's tired, but that doesn't matter. Of course he's tired. He's just run two miles, and now he's just run three laps of this one, and he's running hard, and here he comes in. Never slowed down on that one. He's, uh, you know, he's just gutting it out. He doesn't have a lot of leg speed left, but it's all working on strength right now and just a lot of guts, and no one's going to catch him. Give uh, Walker credit, too. That's a gutsy performance from him to come in and take third in this race, but again, uh, Great job for uh, Jed Christensen and a great career here in uh, track and field. 421-13, the winning time. Brooker ended up taking second and Walker was third.